everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Eleanor Wrestling and I do previews reviews predictions and news videos for all things pro wrestling today I have one hell of a new story for you guys so as you guys know Thursday is traditionally the wrestling news rumors video so I compile all the latest news rumors into one video and I was going to do that and then this story broke and I was like I can't not dedicate an entire video to this insane disgusting story so yes we will be discussing surrounding WWE investigating three million dollars of hush money that Vince McMahon allegedly paid a former female WWE employee yes it's absolutely insane don't miss like share and subscribe let's get on with it Before we get started, I do just want to say this story is quite intense. Just reading it, typing my script, even talking about it makes it feel super uncomfortable. So if anything surrounding sexual assault or anything like this just really treats you and is not good for you, please do not watch this video. Please click away. It is a really intense topic. So yes, this is crazy, but let's break everything down. So just last night... A Wall Street Journal published a report stating that WWE are investigating $3 million worth of hush money paid to female employee that he was having an affair with. Okay, there is a lot more to it, but that is basically the, the main premise of this story. Let's break everything down that this report said. So the report claimed that WWE board are investigating these claims that this woman said, well, we don't know who this woman is, was a former WWE employee who'd been paid $3 million worth of assessment money from Vince McMahon due to them having an affair. This said woman was hired as a paralegal in 2019 and this group was made in January 2022. Now the agreement along with the $3 million worth of assessment money actually prevents her from ever, ever disclosing any information about her relationship with Vince Vince McMahon. So it's a non-disclosure agreement. She can never talk about her relationship with Vince nor talk bad about him ever. Wall Street Journal got this information from an anonymous source claiming to be a friend of this woman. The report went on to say that this woman was hired with a salary worth of $100,000 which actually got upgraded to $200,000 when she began her sexual relationship with Vince McMahon. The report actually goes on to say that she was given quote like a toy to John Laurinaitis and in 2021 she was made an assistant to John Laurinaitis who is the head of talent relations so what we know so far that far into the report is that this woman we don't know who this woman is was a former paralegal of WWE she had a relationship with Vince McMahon there was obviously an affair he had paid her off a set amount of money to never ever talk about this again and she was apparently kind of passed around like a toy to John Laurinaitis is anyone else feeling a bit sick that was absolutely disgusting the report went on to say they'd found an undetermined number of other non-disclosure agreements made with former WWE female employees and Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis. So there are other women that have been in this exact same position. A WWE spokesperson did actually claim that this relationship between Vince McMahon and this former paralegal was actually consensual. Vince McMahon's attorney, Jerry McDermott, has actually spoken about this situation. He wrote to Wall Street Journal saying the former employee has not made any claims about harassment towards her nor have WWE paid her any money. So essentially, Vince McMahon's attorney is denying any of this. And finally, Brandon Thurston is reporting that WWE's employees were sent an internal message yesterday regarding this report stating that the company are taking it very seriously and are fully cooperating with the independent investigation. So that is everything that we know surrounding this story. This literally broke yesterday. So this story is obviously pending. It's obviously going to continue building as the days go on. But yes, that is the information that we have so far from the Wall Street Journal and Brandon Thurston. I am honestly in just such disbelief about this story. When this broke, I honestly couldn't really believe what I was reading. I was like, is this serious right now? Is this genuine? Like, oh my God. Now, obviously there is a lot of alleged information surrounding this story. Obviously there are anonymous sources, but it's just crazy that this situation actually transpired the way it has. And how this has ever been like hidden, when this ever happened, I don't know, but it's just absolutely crazy. I just, I am speechless, honestly. I have no idea what this means going forward for WWE as a company. You know, scandal like this can genuinely threaten careers. Like who even knows what the future holds for Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis if, if these allegations are found to be true. It's just absolutely insane. So I have no idea what this means going forward, but if this is true, I hope those women get justice because they've clearly been through a lot and that sounds absolutely horrible. So yeah, I just, I don't really know what to think, but this is just absolutely crazy. But yeah, that's the situation that we stand at right now. The story from Wall Street Journal, obviously this story is ongoing and I'll provide more updates as the news breaks. And that is it for the video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye guys.